just had a great conversation with my cat, and we discussed the following. One, he's a little baby. Two, he's in fact a little baby. Three, the fact that he's very cute. Four, the origin of how he got to be so cute. Five, why he's so little. And six, details as to how he's a good boy. You know what, that sounds like a pretty comprehensive and productive conversation to have with a pet. Personally, I'd add the conversation and discussion around belly rub quotas. My dog and I have agreed to uh, make sure that she gets five belly rubs a day. Deaf janitor James Anthony left in tears after kindergarten class performs happy birthday for him in sign language. Oh my god, that is, oh, that's so adorable. Could you imagine how much of a great surprise that would be? Just walking into a classroom, probably having to clean up some papers or move some chairs around and getting happy birthday from a bunch of cute kids. That, that's a surprise that anybody would appreciate, to be honest. 1987 versus 2020. I love pictures like this. Family pictures like this are always great and always adorable, mostly because you don't really need any context. You just understand that it's been a loving family for so long, for multiple decades, that they have this relationship with their grandfather because that's who's pictured in the, uh, the photo. It's really nice just to see how people grow up and how they still kind of have the same face they had as toddlers. You know, it's just it's cool stuff. So, I just got my dad a custom controller with the day he adopted me on the back as a present. He's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh my gosh, if I was in that position, I would never play with that controller. I would immediately put it in like a case or just put it in a drawer somewhere because I understand how, you know, sweat and oils do to paints and stuff like that. I wouldn't want the, the date to fade or anything, so I would immediately put it away. But that is just, that's so thoughtful. I'm almost certain he's going to do the same thing. I'm pretty sure he's never going to play with that controller. he probably just have it on his desk or something so he could look at it. The father of the bride stopped the wedding mid-walk to grab his daughter's stepdad so they could walk down the aisle with her together. There wasn't a dry eye in attendance. That is a really humbling moment. Because he could have easily just walked down the aisle with his daughter, but he recognized that the stepdad also had a relationship with his daughter too. So, they should walk down together. That's amazing that he's never going to forget that moment. His daughter is not going to forget that moment. Nobody in the audience is going to forget that moment. It's just wholesome. Having a conversation with my grandma with Alzheimer's. Me, it's nice seeing you. It was nice remembering you. You remember me? I don't remember your name, but I remember that I love you. I've been streaming for seven months, and I finally got above 20 viewers. I know it's kind of small, but I'm really happy and wanted to share it with someone. Yeah, it feels great. I remember the first time setting up this channel and getting my first 10 or 20 or 30 subscribers and thinking to myself, wow, I've made it. People are listening to me. People care about what I have to say and are giving me the time of their day, you know, to, you know, listen to a random person on the internet. And that's really something that um, I'll never forget. It's a feeling that I'll never forget. Because the dude who started this channel in 2017 would have never called it, would have never thought it would grow this big, would never thought so many people would care about what he had to say, and would have been more than satisfied with the 100 plus people who would watch his videos consistently anytime he'd upload. Simply because he just wants someone to connect with and somebody to listen to what he has to say. I mean, it's, it really goes to show how much we've grown on this channel. My boyfriend's first language is French, and he forgot the word for lid, so instead he held up the pot and asked, Where is his hat? That is so adorable, uh, I'm gonna steal that now. That's mine. Every time I talk about a pot lid, I'm like, Where is the skillet hat? I need to find its hat. Please, someone point it out to me. What is the last pair of shoes you bought? Well, I bought a pair of black Nikes to wear while teaching. I tried them on in the store, bought them, took them home, and never wore them again. And here's why. When my class was walking back from lunch, I heard a kid slapping his feet as he walked. I turned around to look at him and noticed that he was slapping his feet because his shoes were literally falling apart. So I pulled him aside and told him I had a pair of shoes that I didn't need and I asked if he wanted them so I didn't have to throw them out. Needless to say, he was ecstatic. So I called his mom and asked her if it would be okay for me to give it to him, and she was happy about it, so I gave him them. I'm still wearing my old shoes, and I'm okay with that. We had something similar in my old high school. It wasn't teachers donating their clothes, but when it came to the uniform for my school, if you graduated, you would donate yours so that kids who just were unfortunate and didn't have the means to buy uniform clothes could just get some from the school. And that was a really nice program. I donated all of my clothes except for one set. I wanted to keep my shirt and my khaki sh like pants so I could look at my you know previous outfit and be like, haha, I used to be so small. You know, look at how small my pants and shirt were. So I just kept that one set for myself. And the funny thing is that program was set up by students and not really teachers. Uh, before then there was no program for the recycling of you know uniform clothes. 
On Christmas morning, after we opened all the gifts, Travis said he had one more big gift for me. I was a little confused on why he had gotten me a bar stool, but once I sat down and looked at him, I immediately knew what was happening. He later told me that the stool is from the bar we met. Okay. Oh. Okay. Where now you can open it? a bar stool for in the basement. Oh, I love that. That looks so nice. Awesome. We have like that's awesome. I like it. Sit on it. If it's not halfway off. Awesome. Yeah. Ooh, that's comfy. Why are Lego shop boxes so plain? That's a good question. You might have noticed that our shipping boxes are not quite as colorful and exciting as our toys. And there's a good reason for that. Many people order gifts for others from the Lego shop. And by keeping our boxes plain, we help gift givers keep their secrets. You know I always find an image. A really good transformation image is perfect inspiration for all of those who are currently working out right now. This woman spent one year to get where she is from big to slim, from start to finish. And that's amazing, and I think a lot of you guys can do that, and already you've proven that to me. Like, multiple, multiple messages on Instagram and Twitter, it, just from people telling me how much, like, weight loss that they've incurred simply from watching Fat Logic or just, you know, following my advice anytime I drop some weight loss stuff throughout any of the, any of the other videos that I make on this channel. And it's just amazing, and I'm happy. And if, if I can make some sort of change in your lives, I've succeeded. Good. What would you do to my car? You scratched it. How much is that? Let me see. This all you got? Yeah, two This all your money right here? Yeah. You don't got no more money? You got more? No, nothing. That's everything? Yeah. Sorry, my friend. You know what? Here, take your money. Hey, take your money. I don't want your money. Huh? I don't want your money, Pop. Don't worry about it. Nah, don't worry about it. I'll fix it myself. Quantum. Nah, don't worry about it. Go okay, ahead. Come on, don't worry about it. Just drive safe next time. Okay. Drive safely next time. Go ahead, go ahead. Go to your car. No, 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 no. Go I'm officially 35 today, but more importantly, I'm one year sober after a seven year battle with alcoholism. Wow, one year. That's difficult. That's really difficult to defeat an addiction. And I really hope that you keep that momentum up, bro. And most importantly, don't let anybody belittle you by saying that it's only been a year. You're doing more than what most people with an addiction could ever do. And that's an extreme feat. Michael Sheen facts. Michael Sheen's real name is Michael Sheen. Actually, my parents named me Christopher. But the nurses had to look after me for the first week and my mom wasn't well and they got my names mixed up on my tag. And when I was collected, my parents asked for Christopher and the nurses said, we have a Michael. So they went with it. We, we spotted him probably about a minute or so ago and he's been working his way up here. You can see when he finally stands up, the water is just below his knees. And that's what is keeping this section of 288 northbound closed. And apparently um, he's there and he's trying to unclog some of the drains. This whole area has been under construction. Oh my goodness. And that. don't fall in there. Yeah, really. Don't oh fall my gosh. in that. Look at that. He cleared that and look at that oh. go. Amazing. Wow. Oh. Look at clog in your bathtub. It's unbelievable. How that, that guy yes. is started circling. That guy is a hero, um, Deborah. Look at him. Bear with me here. Yeah. Excuse me. Hello? Really? I mean, he is the hardest. Oh, he's at it again. Oh, my goodness. I wanted to keep okay. that clear. Wait, that's, yeah. that's way to go, man. What a great worker. Well, five lanes of 288 northbound going into downtown. They are open. Count a one, two, three, four, five. And look right over there. That was the source of the problem. Thank you, random R6 players who saved my dog IRL today. I was in a ranked game on Villa. Third round just started. Suddenly, I could hear my dog hacking and choking behind me. As I threw off my headset saying, Oh my god, my, my dog is choking, holy shit! It came unplugged from my computer. I ran over to my dog in a panic. What do I do? 
and I hear from my TV, hold his legs in the air and hit him on the back, said loudly a few times by two of my teammates, who I assume queued together. Thank you, you guys literally saved my dog's life today. Oh my goodness, more reasons for me to love my favorite game. I love Rainbow. The community of Rainbow is amazing, voice chat is amazing for multiple reasons, not only because of amazing stuff like this happening, but also because of the humor, the jokes, and the camaraderie that you can find on a game. I play on PC, so I'm, I don't really know if that's the same on console, but I just, I've always loved Rainbow Six, and this is just giving me more reasons to love it. Put your hands up, put your hands up, put your hands up, and put your hip in it. I put your hands up, I put a hip in it. Get wild with it, get crazy, get crazy, get crazy, get crazy, get crazy. Go, oh, oh, you don't did it, just oh, oh, you done did it, just swing your arms in the air. Got a big ass head, you don't care. Just swing your arms in the air. You got a big ass head, you don't care. Hold up, go, go ahead, go, go ahead, got a big ass. My five-year-old child raised $1.6 million walking six miles using prosthetic legs. We received thousands of lovely messages from supporters. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge even tweeted a message to say how proud they were of Tony. I'm aware of how difficult it is to walk with one prosthetic leg. Imagine walking with two and teaching yourself how to walk with two at such a young age. The perseverance that this kid must have, it has to be astronomical. It has to be so high because I know of grown people who would probably give up or show much more difficulty, much more apprehensiveness concerning learning how to walk with two prosthetic legs and this child is just blowing them out of the water. This is Miller, a good boy who lost some pounds. He just wanted to post his transformation pic to inspire you. What, you think it's only gonna be humans on this video? Nah, nah. We gonna make sure you feel real inspired by the end of this video to lose some weight. So back in February, I made a video about why everyone has worth and why you shouldn't kill yourself. And I received a DM from a young girl who said that, you know, she was gonna be taking her life soon. And I said, why, please, can you please explain? And she said that she had stage four leukemia and she was gonna be doing physician-assisted suicide. And I said, is there any chance of survival if you try the, I guess, chemotherapy and things like that? And she said, it's very slim and it's gonna be a lot of pain. And I said, just fight for it. If you do the physician-assisted suicide, there's no chance of survival. But at least if you fight for it, you know, what if you make it? You never know. She said to me that she would see me in the next life. And I said, no, I'll, I'll see you in this one. That was back in February. Uh, on Tuesday, on Tuesday I received this. She's cancer free. I was on my way to being a first gen college graduate and then my parents graduated five months before me. Proud son. Look at all these big brains in this photo. Everybody out here educated. That's great. That's insane. I bet you felt some type of way though that your parents passed you up. They really, <laughs> they got to the finishing line right before you. <laughs> One year since I was discharged from the hospital. It's so difficult to recover because it means leaving the anorexic body, the rituals and habits behind, and having to face your problems. But it's so worth it. It's brought me the best year of my life, and it's made me into who I am. This video is of an idiot jumping off of a bridge and belly flopping and knocking himself out on the water, and a really nice guy jumps in and saves him. That's it. That's that guy who beat in the water earlier. Oh no, it's not, it's a different guy. Nothing better than a cat fist bump, especially from a stray cat that could be scared of you, but it's a nice stray cat, and those are rare, and I live near none of those. <laughs> what? Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh 
Who is that? It's my best friend. He's in the Air Force. Bro! No! Tim, this is Jasper. Nice to meet you, Hey, it's your boy Blockbuster, a blast from the past, just checking in. Bruh, you and I used to have some wild Friday nights back in the day. I know it's pandering, I know it's hello my fellow kids, but it's adorable, I like it. It's, it's cute that they, you know, even thought up to even tweet something like that. And the funny thing is, the very people that they're like pandering to and catering to, I want to say that they're in their 30s now. Hey, look at the camera! Oh my god, are you serious? Mom, right I now? got a full scholarship! SHUT no! UP! It says scholarship will cover the cost of your tuition and fees! <laughs> This is me before in 2012. I was a drug addict, and after 2018, I'm a college graduate, major in chemistry. You can do it. That is an insane transformation. I love, like, this video is nothing but transformation images, and it's just great. It really makes you feel good. It makes you feel positive about your future, that you really can do anything. And look at this dude. Not only did he change his life for the better, he got educated and he lost his addiction, but he looks healthy. He looks like he's happy. He looks like he probably gained back some weight that he lost during his drug addiction. And that's amazing. That's very positive. Wow. Pedra, papel, tesoura! Perdeu. Vamos lá. Pedra, papel, tesoura. Ninguém. Pedra, papel, tesoura. Pedra, papel, tesoura. Quebrei de novo. Que que é isso? Que que briga é essa? Pedra, papel, tesoura. Pedi, né? <risos> Pedra, papel, tesoura. Pedi. Pedra, papel, tesoura. Pedi. Como é que é brincadeira besta? My sister went to visit our grandparents today, and our grandfather, who unfortunately has dementia, felt really sad for the dogs who had to stay outside, so he spent the entire day entertaining them by showing them various paintings. What's up everybody, it's your boy Aileris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam, what you doing watching videos and not subscribing, and if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. Seriously, go ahead and take a look at this picture, make sure your notifications look exactly like that so you can get my uploads on time and be one of the few people who comment first on every single one of my videos. And as always, we gotta thank the Patreon supporters, so thank you to Taki, Bunny Boo, Dustin, Canned Eggplant, Kyle, Hostmar, Keith Myers, Hannah, PixieArt5, Lil Ren Green, Catherine Taylor, Jason, Arrow, Lena, Rajin, Clara, John Robinson, Ethan, Vermont, Noobsler, Trenton Golden, Trojan, Yeetmaster, Arjen, Noah, Brody, Muffy Lou Who, Cleric, Sertica, Immortal EXE, and Trey, thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel in any way, there's two links in the description. One to my Patreon and one to my merch store. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.